For the 30th problem on the second ACT practice test, a plastic cover is made for the pool. The cover will rest on the top of the pool and will include a wedge-shaped flap that forms a 45 degree angle at the center of the cover, as shown in the figure below. A zipper will go along one side of the wedge-shaped flap and around the arc. Which of the following is closest to the length and feet of the zipper? So you can see the zipper going along the radius of the circle and then along the arc of the circle. And we can immediately know how long this length is since it's just the radius of the circle. And we know the diameter of the circle is this 24 feet, so the radius would have to be half of that. Or in other words, this radius here is just 12. So there are 12 feet along this part of the zipper. Now the tricky part is figuring out how long this arc length is. So to figure that out, let's think about the arc length of the entire circle first. And the way to find the length around the entire circle is just the circumference. So the circumference of our circle here is just twice pi times the radius. And the radius is 12, so the circumference is this 24 pi and think that it would be 24 pi all the way around if our angle was 360 degrees, since 360 completes a full revolution. But we're only going 45 degrees around. So we can ask the question, what proportion of the entire circle is this angle? So that proportion is just going to be 45 degrees divided by the total angle all the way around, which is 360 degrees. And basically, once we figure out what percent of the total circle that this angle makes up, we can just multiply that by the circumference. And that will tell us how long this length is. So in other words, we know the entire length around, but we only want to know what this length is. And this length is made with a 45 degree angle. But we know with a 360 degree angle that the length is this 24 pi. So we just have to find out what the proportion of the circle that this angle takes up is. And that would be equal to the proportion of the total circumference that this arc length takes up. So what we have to do is first find the proportion that this angle of 45 degrees makes with the entire way around the circle. So if we made an angle that made a full revolution or this 360 degrees, we can figure out what proportion 45 degrees takes of the total. So we have to divide this 45 degrees by the total of 360 degrees. And then we can just multiply this by the circumference. And what you find when you multiply this ratio by the circumference, this 24 pi here, you find that this arc length here is about, so we can say approximately 9.42 feet. And if this was confusing, what you can do is just use the arc length formula. So let's say arc length is just equal to the circumference of the circle, so this 2 pi times the radius, and then multiplied by the proportion that your angle makes compared to the angle all the way around. So let's say your angle is theta, which is 45 degrees in our case, and then we have to divide that by the total length around this 360 degrees. So this is the arc length formula when you're dealing with degrees. Now, it's usually denoted with the letter S. So you might see S for arc length. And if you were using radians, the formula is much simpler. For that, S would just be the radius times whatever your angle is in radians. So let me write that down, that this has to be in radians to use this formula. And if you're unfamiliar with radians, there's a simple relation between degrees and radians. So 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians. 
you can think of radians as essentially the proportion of the arc length around the circle. So if you had a circle with a radius of 1, the length all the way around the circumference is just 2 pi times that radius of 1, or 2 pi. And that's where 2 pi radians comes from. So using this relationship, we can change this 45 degrees into radians. And 45 degrees, let me just write that down, is actually equal to pi over 4 radians. So if you just plug pi over 4 into your angle here and multiply it by 12, since that's our radius, you would get the exact same value of this approximately 9.42 feet. So now, to answer the question, which of the following is closest to the length in feet of the zipper? We just have to add this 12 feet to this arc length that we just found, since we know the arc length is about 9.42 feet. And adding 12 to 9.42, you get 21.42, which is closest to letter G here.